LeVar Ball speaks. This is in response to the video I did last week about LeVar Ball versus Molly and the incident that happened. You can check the link right there. So I got the audio of him talking and we're going to cover it. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell because we're working on skill and our craft, bringing you a life gain in any situation. Please subscribe to my channel. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. And if you're a fan of old school wrestling t-shirts like the one I'm wearing today, check my video description link to check out a website called Atlantic Customs. They make custom wrestling tees for you, and you can get one today. Take a look at what LeVar had to say. with him. The only thing I don't agree with is this she breaking in boogeyman. Now that's him being a character. No different from our president being a character. But take a look at the responses you all gave me from the video I did in regards to the comments made between LeVar Ball and Molly. Take a look. So now the question leads to this. From going through those comments, it seems that ESPN is just getting too far with being politically correct. Now mind you, I'm a person who believes in a lot of the principles of the Me Too movement. There are inequalities between man and woman. But this example just went way, way, way too far. LeVar explained to you how he felt about the situation and that's what I gathered, number one, from just watching his reaction after Molly made it weird. When she made it weird, he was just bantering on. It wasn't that he said it in a sexual manner. He didn't say, girl, I switch gears with you anytime. It was more of a, you can switch gears with me anytime, Molly. And he was doing the elbow to Stephen A. Smith. So, I mean, I'm with him on that. But do y'all really think ESPN is going to ban him? Because he is a character. He is a character like the guy in the White House. He's going to be on all the other sports programs. He's going to be on everybody's sports radio program. And eventually ESPN is going to have to cover him because if his sons make an impact in the sports, they're going to be covering that. So there's no real getting around banning LeVar. Like he said, how can you ban somebody that doesn't work for him? But I want you guys to leave me your comments. Do you feel like ESPN is going too far? I'm planning on making a video that's going to be Undisputed, which is now my favorite sports program with Skip and Shannon versus ESPN. And I want you guys to kind of tell me what do you feel like has been the downfall of the first take program. For me, when Skip left, that tore a hole in my heart. And this is no disrespect to Max, because he's OK. but. It really felt like Skip balanced that show. And when he left, it just seems like all hell went to a handbasket. So leave me your comments. Let me know how you feel. How you feel about what LeVar had to say in response to the Molly Cam first take incident. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Check my link if you want an old school wrestling t-shirt. You will see the link in the video description. And until the next sex is hell video, I'll see you.